Now is the time to worship the Creator of heaven and earth. Now is the time to glorify His name. Now is the time to sing our hearts out. Now is the time to surrender everything and worship the one and only God. Now is the time to worship the Creator of heaven and earth. Now is the time to glorify His name. Now is the time to sing our hearts out. Now is the time to surrender everything and worship the one and only God. your dues, you have failed mission, you don't come to attend meeting, Ferris, this thing is a very serious something, I can kill you and bury you there, it is not of my business because you have already signed it, they march all over me, all my palms, my mother is long, he cannot talk anything, but to me today, I am free. Because you have compassion to people. Why is it that you hate people that have compassion? I want him to serve me. Because on that guy, I is what I need. He's the only one that can do what? Sacrifice what you need. What do you need? More what? More killing. More people in my temple. Okay. Your food is blood. Yes. I need blood. Who are you that need blood? I'm a servant of the devil. You're a servant of the devil. Okay, I have blood here. Do you need the blood? I, I have blood. blood of Jesus for you. Bring water for me. You say you need more blood. Huh? Yes. What is happening to you now? What is happening to your kingdom now? Why do you want to deliver me? Huh? Why you don't allow me to stay in this body? You are not the owner. God is the owner. Are you not aware? I don't know God. You don't know God? Yes. Don't worry, you will know. He is the savior of the world. Today, the owner of, of his soul is demanding from him. So you have to go. Two masters cannot be in one boat. Leave me, let me go. This power is bigger than me. This power is bigger than you. Yes. Which power are you talking about? Is it the one here? This power you call God is bigger than me. My God is bigger than you. All courts is bowed to Jesus. Fail! Fail! No greater court, greater kingdom than Jesus Christ. It is over today. I command those power to be taken away from you. Still your name. Thank you, Lord. My name is Isaac. I came here on Sunday, the time that the Papa wants to pray. I saw a man, something passed, a man running and passed. Finally, in me, I fell down. So when I fell down, that thing in me was talking. Leave this church, run away and leave this church. Run away and leave this church. So 
and now stood up immediately I have to take my leave so people was blocking me on the door even though when they try to pull me down they cannot pull me down I will struggle with them they struggle with me immediately when the papa just came and pray he touched me I fell down so when I fell down papa started asking me though I was not the one that was talking because I didn't know myself I was in uncultist for complete 20 years. So a friend of mine called me to in a nightclub. When I, I follow him up, when I follow my friend nightclub, that day I was drunk. Total drunk. That is how they take me out. They initiate me after my initiation. Because later I came back to them, I said I don't want to be one of you again because of the kind of things that I'm seeing. These people attacked me. They marched all over me. All my palms. All my head. I put them. I didn't still die. Even though when they marched me that very day, somebody picked me to a house. My mother was total. My mother slumped. He cannot talk anything. Where is the money that will take me to hospital? There is no money. They just give me some injection. The following day, I take off. I have to run. I run down to Calabar. I stay for a few times. I take my leave down to Baiza State. So I've been there for a while. Now I came back. So when I came back, these people keep on attacking me, looking for me. So ah, so that they cannot leave somebody like me that I am the number one person that be, I'm a very hard man. When I came back, my mother told me that this is your gang member. They have came here to look for you. Even though my mother was even crying. So, ah, if they kill this, my son, who will give me food to eat? If they kill this boy, who is there to provide for me? My business, everything. Because I was selling clothes. Everything I've done. And I'm starting, I started become beggar. Begging people for money. To provide food for my family. So when I came to that Sunday, all over my body, fire was burning. I didn't even understand myself. Even though some people went and heard the way I was talking. Some people was not happy because, you know, when you deny a devil, there are some people that they came hungry that you have denied their master. You don't want to be a part of them. But to me today, I am free. And the sun is like this. When they go there, you come with your dues payment, the dues payment will cost you up to 5,000. I am an XYZ. From XYZ, I have a free marshal and I have a K-man. So when you come on Sunday like this, first, this thing is a very serious something. I can kill you and bury you there. There is none of my business because you have already signed it. If you don't come with all these things, with your dues, you have failed mission. You don't come to attend meeting. I will drill you and drill you. In this confraternity, there will be no peace for you. If I sit down in the midst of people, I, I look those people as informal. That they will come and they just want to come and hear something from me. Go and tell the these people that I'm around. Since I'm not longer with them again, that I'm around. So when I sit down in the midst of people, a little, I will leave that place very fast. I cannot free myself. As I am leaving there, I am so happy. Now I can think well. Now I can walk free. Don't follow a friend that cannot lead you to Christ. Don't follow a friend that cannot show you the way of God. Don't go and tell somebody because of you see how things is doing with him well. Sir, please, I want to be like you. My friend, I want to be like you. The only way you can have peace of mind is the way to come and serve Christ Jesus. Thank you so much, sir, and thank you. But we believe that your deliverance is permanent in Jesus' name. We also want to encourage you to continue to make God's word the standard for your life in Jesus' name. 
I release the blood. I release the blood. The senior evangelist, God's Amaida, prayed for me and delivered me. And before I came to church, I used to have ulcer pain. And after the deliverance from the man of God, the ulcer pain has gone. Blood is dripping upon people. I see that cavalry blood coming down upon you. The man of God prayed for me and told me I'm free. Immediately, the pain stopped. The wound healed. I was like, Jesus, only you are free. All that is all. We advise them to hold on to God that their deliverance is next in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Not the Good Lord. I am from Anambra State. And the woman standing beside me is my lovely wife. I came to church last Sunday, and in the course of service, the senior evangelist, God Stamaida, prayed for me and delivered me. And before I came to church, I used to have ulcer pain. And after the deliverance from the man of God, the ulcer pain has gone. My finances changed. On Monday, I received another time in my life. And my finances increased by the glory of God. Before, my prayer life was low. And after the prayer by the man of God, my prayer life increased. And when I read the Bible, I understand it more now. Praise the Lord. My name is Tochi and the man standing beside me is my husband. We came to church on Sunday and during the course of the service, he was prayed for and delivered. Before Sunday, he usually gets sick from time to time. But after Sunday, the prayers on Sunday, his health has improved. His spiritual life has also improved. He now creates time more to study the Bible and pray. Also, his finance has been touched by God. After the service on Sunday, we were invited to the mountain on Monday and when we were on the road coming back, he received a call from one of his clients and he received a contract for his job. So, what advice do you have for us listening to you and viewers all around the world that are watching you? My advice to the viewers and everyone watching is that we should come close to God and He will perfect everything that concerns us. To the viewers watching us and the members, we advise them to hold on to God, that their deliverance is next in Jesus' name. Amen. We are happy for your deliverance and we advise you that as you go back home, continue to make the word of God the standard for your life. To you do so, your testimony, your deliverance will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Princess Godwin Ayo. I'm from Aquaibom State. The problem that brought me here was leg injury. It all started when I set out for school that Monday morning. When on my arrival, I met some of my colleagues. So all of a sudden, someone came from nowhere and stepped on my foot. So I was like, ah, you stepped on my foot now. The person was so remorseful at that point, so I let go. When I returned back home, I pulled out my shoes and I realized I had a scratch on my leg. So I was like, ah, where did I get this scratch from? I ignored because I felt it was a mess scratch. As then went on, my legs started swelling. The wound opened more than it was before. I was like, ah, ah, only stepping on foot. My mom was like, ah, so how are we going to do right now? The scratch is now opening more big than it was. So she started taking me to clinics, buying medications, spending money on drugs, medications. Along the line, I went to clinics. I took medications, vitamins, but it was to no avail. The wound opened more than it was. To the extent I could see my dorsal vein. So I was like, Jesus, what am I going to do about this? One of my aunts came to the house and said she saw one church online. So she was like, she should not tell us the location and we left that Sunday morning. The man of God prayed for me and told me I'm free. 
tell us that only you're free. Immediately, the pain stopped, the wound healed. I was like, Jesus, only you're free. And that is all. The next morning, the wound dried up and was so small, and the wound healed up to this extent. So I want to give God the glory for all what he has done for me because I couldn't even walk. If I want to walk, I was walking so slow that people were asking me what's going on. After my deliverance, I, I, I cannot wear my shoes. I can walk properly. I can walk more faster than I was when I had the injury. I want to thank God for what he has done because the wound has healed right now. Right now I can walk very well. I can wear my heel shoes. I can do what I could not do before. Sister, please, can you show us the things that you can do now that you were not able to do before? I can walk fast because before I could not walk like this. Actually, it affected me physically and educationally. It affected my education. I could not go to school for weeks. I almost missed up so many things. I could not walk. It affected me physically. I could not walk. I just stay indoors. I, can, I couldn't even wear my shoes. I was just like that, so devastated and ruined. Can we see the wound, the spot you had the wound on your leg? Church, you can see the wound is totally healed. What would be your advice to people all around the world that have one infirmity or the other? What would be your advice to them? My advice to people all over the world is have faith in God. No matter the situation you have, don't use the time you have for little things like losing hope, losing faith in God, but use your time to achieve great things in life. Build up your faith with your problems. Build up your faith knowing that God has a proper solution for you one day. Sister, we rejoice with you and we encourage you that as God has saved you from this issue, and I'm sure this thing has destroyed your life, your academics, like you said, we encourage you that you should keep making the word of God a standard in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Right now, say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood upon my family. I plead the blood of Jesus. say one to me, I will say ten to them. I'm not afraid of sack. If they lie, let them sack me. I discover a live bullet inside the pearl. That the bullet pierced from the roof to the ceiling. From the ceiling to the pearl. From the pearl pierced to the back. It just make me like, let me just take these slippers and knock on her. Whenever we sit with my wife, things that we didn't used to discuss with her, we always discuss with, with her. It is only the handwork of God. Whatever it is, don't focus on that situation. Focus on the hope of Jesus. to you is your husband there is always quarrel at all the time yes yes he has idol idol in the family but that idol is inside of him as a woman so that is why there is quarrel he has terrible anger he gets annoyed very very well yes even to this we just came to church like that without talking to each other. Without talking to each other. Yes. The end has come.
Now I send fire to the base. This is the final fire. More is coming down now. Watch. Fire, not the twice. Fire. Your mission in his body has failed. everything that belongs to you and get out. Take your anger. Fail not Christ. I declare him free. 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 Jesus name. of this spirit of anger. Yes. Your wife also made mention when she was speaking in the clip that this anger has affected your relationship with her. Yes, it's true. Whenever we are at home, we we'll stay more than three to four hours. I won't say anything to her. Whenever she says something, it should just make me like, let me just take this uh, slippers and knock on her. That is how I'm feeling by then. Okay. You get angry to the point where you don't talk to your wife for up to four hours and the anger pushes you, you intend to hit her with your foot waist. Is that what you're saying? Yes. After that, your prayer, when you went home, how is your heart now? Church, praise the Lord. When we get back home, I feel relaxed. I'm not in that mood of uh, spirit of anger again. I have peace of mind. Whenever we sit with my wife, we always discuss things that we didn't used to discuss with her. We always discuss with, with her. And uh, towards my colleagues, my senior colleagues at work, those ones that have left the company, I just pick my phone. I just test them, test most of them that, ah, friend, long time. I'm sorry you for the art that I have been doing to you people before. Jesus Christ is the one that said to free. He has said to free now. And we we'll believe that the freedom you've received is permanent. We want to encourage you to stay in him, remain in him. Above all, continue to participate in the things of God. My own advice to people, 
watching me right now is that whenever situation you are into, whenever situation, whatever it is, don't focus on that situation. Focus on the hope of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. I am here to testify to the glory of God for what God has done for my family. It was on Saturday morning. I we woke up all alive to see the wonderful day the Lord has made for us. Later in the day, I went out and I came in towards two. And I asked my son, have you taken your bath? He said, no, daddy. And I said, get you to your bathroom and take your bath. And when he went in, he later came in and said, Daddy, our bell is leak. And I said, how? He said, when he opened water from the tap and the bell, he discovered that the water is not there. And when I on my torch to see what happened, I discovered a live bullet inside the bell. Pierced the bell to the bath and pierced the bath too, inside the bathroom. I now called the attention of my wife, said, come and witness, I don't understand this. When my wife came in and said, she said, how? So we were confused. My wife said, it's like somebody's in on top of the ceiling, fire bullet into this. I said, no, I can't believe it. And I decided to run outside to call our neighbor to come and witness what I, I saw. And now when they came in, they were so amazing. They said, how did it happen? And one of them looked at the roof and said, that is a hole on top of the roof that the bullet pierced from the roof to the ceiling, from the ceiling to the pearl, from the pearl pierced to the bat. And I asked him, How, where did the bullet come from? He said, in the environment, they had a traditional marriage. So I, I was so amazed. I said, this is only the handwork of God. That is only God that can preserve. I, 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 he said in the book of uh, Job 5, verse 12, it is appointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So I have to say, God, thank you for all what you have done for me and my family. Yes, I witnessed it. I was outside. He called me and said, come and see. I went inside. He showed me that the, she showed me the bullet that would pierce the pearl to the bat. I was confused. I said, where could it come from? I was telling him that the bullet, somebody is on top of the ceiling doing this. He said he shouldn't be, that he doesn't believe it. So he went and called the neighbors. They came and we saw, we actually saw a, a hole from the ceiling. Piercing by Through the, the bullets. Roof. Yes. And you can confirm that everyone is safe, no one was hurt. Yes, there was no one in the bathroom that as at that time. Let's put our hands together for Jesus one more time. My advice is that people should keep trusting in the Lord. People should serve God, participate in the things of God because it is only the hand of God that can deliver a man from trouble. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my advice to the viewers is, no matter what you're facing, no matter the challenge, no matter what you're facing in life, God is up to. That's why he's saying in the book of Psalms 91, he that dwell in the secret place of the Mosah shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God. So there is nothing God cannot do. In any challenge, God is up to, to defend you. And you are saving God, trust in him. No matter how what they plan, they will surely fail. Jesus will give you victory. Amen. Thank you. Amen. We want to encourage both of you to continue to stay in Christ. Continue to work for him. Continue to believe in him. Him alone has set free. And we pray that he will continue to safeguard you and your family in Jesus' name. We encourage you also to continue to make his word the standard for your life in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you for joining us this morning. We believe that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Viewers, prepare your heart.
to receive from God. Prepare your heart to receive from God. No one can save himself, only God can. No one can deliver himself, only God can. No one can rescue himself, only God can. Prepare yourself to receive a divine touch from above. Prepare yourself to receive a divine touch from Jesus Christ. A divine touch from the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now make this confession. Say I am a possessor of the Father's nature. I am a possessor of the Father's nature. I am a possessor of the Holy Spirit. I am a possessor of divine healing. I possess the divine nature of God. I possess the divine nature of God. I possess the divine nature of God. Begin to make this confession right now. Say, I possess the divine nature of God. Anywhere you are watching me from, make this confession right now. Say, I possess the divine nature of God. I possess the divine strength of God. I possess this morning the divine wisdom of God. I possess the divine ability of God. I possess the divine nature of God. Begin to possess it, possess it, possess it. Possess it right now. Begin to possess it. Begin to possess it. Begin to possess it. Possess your possession. Possess the divine nature of God. The divine character of God. I am a possessor of the divine character of God. I am a possessor of the image and the likeness of God. I am a possessor of the goodness of God. I am a possessor of the mercy of God. Begin to possess it right now. Possess it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Today is your day. Are you ready? Today is your day. May God give you the grace to be patient, to be active. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are Come with me to the book of Act of Apostle. Act of Apostle, chapter 20 and verse 32. Are you there? Today we want to talk about a visit. How do we visit God? How do we visit our Creator? Yes. How do we visit the Most High God, the Holy One? A visit with God. From my lessons with Prophet T.B. Joshua and his teaching and mentorship over my life, he has often let us know that Christ and the Word are one. That a believer's growth comes through feeding on the word. A believer's growth comes through feeding on the word. He said there is faith in faith. But there is faith in the finished work of God. And that faith in the finished work of God comes through the living word of God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, not just hearing nonsense. By hearing the word of God. That is, it is impossible for you to have faith without God's word. It is impossible to have faith without the word of God. It is impossible for you to please God without faith. So also, it is impossible to have that faith that pleases God without God's word. God's word must be the foundation of your Christian life. God's word must be the foundation of your Christian life. A Christian life, it is a disciplined life. Why? Because it is always based on God's word that gives an excellent moral standard. Christian life is not just any life. Christian life is a disciplined life which is based on the word of God. 
that produce an excellent moral standard. If you ignore the word of God, you have ignored God. If you ignore the word of God, you have ignored God. Because God and his word are one. Jesus and his word are one. No one assess God unless through his word. No one assess God unless through his word. When we begin to give the word of God a place in our heart, we are giving Christ a place in our heart. When we begin to give God proper position in our heart, we are giving Christ a proper position in our heart. But when we give Satan ungodly thought a place in your heart, you are giving the devil a rightful position in your heart. Remember, if the word is in place in your heart, the word, the physical word, that is material things, will be displaced. Two of them does not meet. If the word, W-O-R-D, the word of God, is in place in your heart. The word that is W O R L D will be displaced, dismissed, dislodged out of your heart. But if the word W O R L D is in place in your heart, the word of God will be displaced dislodge misplaced out of your heart so both of them does not meet what is in place in your heart today people of god if you want to visit god what do you place in your heart until we come to the knowledge that god Value his word above all things. That is when we begin to take the word of God serious. The most important part of God is his word. The most important part of God is his word. God is limited by his word. The boundary of God's commitment to you is his word. God also is limited and is limited to your life because of his word. Anything that is not sanctioned by the word, you cannot receive it from God. Anything that is not sanctioned by the word cannot be received. So when you are praying to God, you must first find out what is his will over your life. What does the Bible say about what you are praying for? The Bible says, let the weak say I'm strong. That means I can be strong. So I'm not praying in error. Let the sick say I'm blessed. Okay, I'm not praying in error. Good. Let the sick say I'm healed. I'm not praying in error. Let the poor say I'm blessed. Oh, the scripture says so. It is the will of God to bless me. It is the will of God to heal me. It is the will of God to deliver me. Are you with me? So it is very, very important that you know that Christ value his word so much. Christ values his word because it is his word that builds Christ's nature in us. It is his word that builds the life of Jesus into us. When we feed on the word, we are feeding on God's very life. When we feed on the word, 
we are feeding on God's ability. When we feed on the word, we are feeding on God's wisdom. And from then, that word begins to strengthen you. The same word you are feeding on begins to strengthen you, build you up, and build into you every attractive things you see in the life of Jesus. If you decide to go by the word of God, your life will become smoother and not bitter. Yes. The word of God makes you to dominate and live above crisis situation. It is that word that gave you strength in the midst of crisis. Feed on the word of God. Believers are encouraged to yield their heart to God's word. And when you yield your heart to God's word, you will become word-minded and God-minded. You become word conscious and God conscious. And when you become God conscious and word conscious, in the morning, your heart unconsciously go to God for guidance and direction for the day. Your heart becomes yielded to God. That is, whether you are praying or not, your heart unconsciously now. Go to God for guidance and direction for the day. Are you feeding on the word of God? Because no one can actually possess the power of God without the word of God. No one actually. Are you feeding on the word of God? That word has the ability to give birth. To everything you are looking for. There is healing in the word of God. There is deliverance in the word of God. There is knowledge in the word of God. There is power in his word. How much you reference and obey the word of God is how much power of God that will be deposited in you. Yes. The amount of your reverence to his word, obedience to his word, Acknowledgement of his word is equivalent to the amount of the power of God that you will have. People of God, let us learn to value the word of God. And how do we value the word of God? We value the word of God by meditating on it day and night. We value the word of God by constantly meditating on it day and night. Remember, for you to keep your purity as a Christian, you must meditate on the word of God. No one can keep his holiness, his purity, his cleanliness without meditating on the word of God. Meditation helps us to keep our purity. Do you want to be pure as a Christian? You have to keep your purity. And to keep your purity, you have to meditate on the word of God day and night. If you value the word of God, you must meditate on his word. The secret of our sources is meditation. The secret of Christian sources is meditation. Meditation is the art of of turning the word of God over and over again in your heart until the required result is obtained. Take note of that. Meditation is the art by which we turn the word, revisiting the word of God over and over again in your heart until what you are praying for become a reality. Meditation brings revelation. Meditation brings revelation. Where there is meditation, it will eventually lead to revelation. Revelation is the realization of something previously not known. 
Revelation is the realization of something that was previously not known. Hidden mysteries being revealed to you. That is revelation. And where there is revelation, there is a conviction. And what is conviction? Conviction is the awakening of man's heart to the truth. Conviction is the awakening of man's heart to the truth. Yes, once you are convinced in your heart, your heart is awakened to the truth. No one can mislead you again. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The point at which you know the truth is conviction. That you are not persuaded by the truth. No one tell you that this is not a Bible. You are already aware that this is a Bible. So if they say, no, this is a stone, not a Bible. It's a stone. It's a stone. No, 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 no. Look at it. It's a stone. You say, no. I am sure. I have seen it. I have tested it. I have come to conclusion that this is my Bible. That is, you are not awakened to the truth. You cannot, I mean, be deceived. <clears throat> and conviction brings about result. Brings about result. Once you are convinced enough, therefore, you begin to see the manifestation of God's power. Viewers, are you meditating on the word of God today? Are you meditating on the word of God today? Yes, first reading for today. Turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 20 and verse 20, 32. Acts 20 and 32. Listen to what Apostle Paul, guided by the Holy Spirit, said to us. He said, Now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I commend you to first God and to his word. I hand over you to God and by, to his word. Why? Because God and his word are one. I hand over you to this supernatural being that can help you. We have no ability to save you, but we only know the Savior. Therefore, I hand you over. I hand your case. I hand your family over to God and to the word of God. Why? Why do you hand over it to, to God? He say, which which will give you an inheritance among all that are sanctified. That is, we only receive our portion through God and His Word. Your inheritance as a Christian is only given by God and His Word. Your inheritance as a Christian is only given by God and His Word. Don't joke with the Word of God. Look at what he told Joshua. Because whatever is good for Joshua, Joshua is good for you. Joshua 1 verse 8, a very popular scripture. Look at what he says. He said, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you, that is me, God's time, but I, God's time, shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe to do according that is written in it. First, before obedience, meditation comes. You don't just obey the word of God if you are not a meditator. Meditation is the first process. He said, this book of the Lord should not depart from your mouth. He said, meditate on it day and night. Then it will not lead you to obedience. Many say, I just I'm just a doer of the word. No, you don't do what you don't meditate over. Before you can be convinced to obey something, there must be a persuasion constantly. That thing must be constantly coming to your heart. Then I say, Oh, maybe this thing is true. This my son keeps coming to my house. I think he needs something. Let me bless. 
Obedience comes after meditation. So don't let it depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may observe to do according to that which is written. For then you shall make your way prosperous and then you will have good sources. Do you see it now? After obedience is prosperity. Once you obey, you prosper. And when you prosper, you will have good sources. Not every successful man today are good. Not every success you see today are good. They are good sources. Good sources. Sources without implication. Sources without side effect. People of God, I encourage you. If you want to visit God, it only comes through meditation of the word of God. Learn to meditate on God's word daily. Learn to meditate on the word of God on daily basis. Don't ignore the word of God for anything. Don't ignore the word of God for miracle of God. Don't ignore the word of God for signs and wonders. The word is important. The word is our foundation as a Christian. There is nothing here at the roadmap of Jesus. It is the word that releases the power of God to you. It is the word of God that releases the fire of God. May God bless his word in the midst of your heart. In Jesus' name. Anywhere you are, people of God, get prepared. Get prepared, get prepared, get prepared. We are here to attend to you. Prepare your heart to receive. Prepare your heart to receive. Prepare your heart to receive. I see God touching you. Make sure you share the link with your friends, your family. Everyone that is connected to you, share the link. Stretch your hand in obedience to God's command. Father, have mercy on them in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on them. Every force of darkness that will not allow the word of God to find place in their heart. Every word, every unclean spirit that will not allow the living word of God the living word of God to find place in their heart. I command that spirit to be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit, every unclean spirit that will not allow the word of God to dominate your heart. I send fire to that spirit right now. That spirit of stubborn heart, stoning heart, that will not allow you to be obedient, to meditate. Spirit of distraction, 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 anger, bitterness, unfaithfulness, uncleanliness. I command that spirit to be removed right now. Holy Ghost, fire the name of the skies. Fire! I command fire from above, down to where you are. Down to where you are, Holy Ghost. Fire the name of the squires. Fire! 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 Fire the name of the squires. No hiding place for demon. Demon, you cannot hide. Demon, you cannot hide. Where there is light, darkness have no hiding place. I send fire from above right now. Holy Ghost. Fire the name of the squires. Fire! Fire the name of the squires. Fire! No hiding place for you. Wherever you are hiding in their body, in their soul, in their mind, in their spirit, I command you to be cast out right now. I say I command you to be cast out right now. Holy Ghost, fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Fire! Right now, I see divine force from above moving to where you are. I see that force, that force, healing force, deliverance force. I command that force to get to where you are now. Watch, watch your screen. Anywhere you are, watch. That force is coming down to where you are. Every unclean spirit that lives inside of you, that is dwelling inside of you, watch, watch now. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost and the force of God to reach you now. Holy Ghost, fire the new Jesus Christ. Fire! Fire! Fire the new Jesus Christ. Check your heart. I command fire from above now to come to where you are. Just watch your screen. Watch your screen. Don't say anything. Watch your screen. The force is coming to where you are right now. It's coming to where you are right now. Holy Ghost, fire the new Jesus Christ. Fire! 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 Fire the new Jesus Christ. Watch! I command sickness, disease, infirmity, anywhere they are right now. 
I command them right now to be flushed out. Watch. Place your hand here. Anywhere they are. Holy Ghost. Fire! Fire! Fire the Jesus Christ. I command all of them to be captured. I say be captured. That sickness be removed. That sickness be removed. That disease be removed. I say be removed. I say be removed. I say be removed. I say be removed. Watch out right now. Whatever that is remaining. I say 10% remaining. I say that 10% remaining inside of your body. Inside of your body. Poison, affliction, attack. Watch your screen. Focus on the screen now. I say what will happen to you. You demon. You demon. You sickness. I stand to challenge you. Holy Ghost. Fam. 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 In Jesus Christ. Leave them alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I see instant healing everywhere. I see instant deliverance everywhere. I see instant healing everywhere. I see instant deliverance everywhere. You can check yourself now. Check yourself. There is a force that has come inside of you. There is a force that has come inside of you. That force of healing. That force of deliverance. That force has come inside of you. I tell you the truth. You will not remain the same. I declare you free forever. Free forever. Free forever. Free forever. Free forever. In Jesus name. Amen. This is what people that call for deliverance enjoys every day. So people of God, God bless you. You are watching the Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry. Make sure you share the link to your friends, your family, your loved ones, everyone that is connected. Share it with them. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and God Almighty will bless you as you continue to do so in Jesus' name. Make sure you post this message to all status. Post it to all social media platforms. Post it, repost them. Post it on YouTube, post it on Facebook, post it on different groups that you belong to. It is very important. May God bless you. This is what God has called us for. And this is what we are doing. And we will continue to do that in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, people of God, this ministry does not demand anything from anyone. But it is our duty to always come together, to see to it that it continues. One person cannot carry the whole body. It will not be easy. So let us come together. And those who God has sent, we will continue to make sure we follow them up and always strengthen them so that God Almighty can continue to supply all their needs in the name of Jesus Christ. So, and if you want to be a partner, send us a message or call any of our prayer line numbers or partnership line. They will direct you on how to be a partner. God bless you. You and your household are loved by God. Thank you.